Yes, I know what you're thinking. Ashley, why do you look like you just got out of jail? See, what had happened was I thought I could do my hair. I can't. Long story short, I was feeling real confident. <laughs> huh? Listen, I did the braids, right? And I mean, there's a couple problems going on here. One, my hair just curls too much, so it just looks silly. Two, my hair is not as thick as I thought, so it just looks spacey and thin, and I look like an alien head, and it's not cute. And three, I have pretty bad scalp psoriasis, so I can't even wear it because half the time you can see my dry scalp that I can do nothing about. So I'm gonna do a little makeover today, a little get ready with me where I transform <laughs> this mugshot look into anything better. But before I do anything, I just, I need to put a wig on. I'm washing my hair later today and taking these out, but um, I need to put a wig on. But first I'm gonna take a little sip of my matcha. I haven't had a matcha latte in so long. So lately, I've been feeling real depressed. I don't really know why. Maybe quarantine is getting to me. Maybe living alone is getting hard. And it happens, like, I get into these funks and then I get out of them. But I just don't know how to get out of them. It just kind of happens. And I never really know when it's gonna happen, so. Yeah. I'm gonna put the wig on, but I'm not gonna style it yet. I'm just gonna put it on just so I can not sit around looking like this. Oh, look at my forehead. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not good at styling wigs. I feel so much better with my hair like this. Oh my, oh, it's raining. I'm trying some TikTok. Try TikTok? Guys, TikTok is, it annoys me. Like, I have a love hate, nah, I love that app. But like sometimes, it gets me to do some dumb shit. Like TikTok's the reason why my hair's looking like this. Um, I'm trying this new TikTok trend that I saw where I brush my eyebrows with gel or whatever. I'm using soap in the direction up and then I do it downwards as well. And, oh. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess my shape is not meant for this in order for it to look good. <laughs> See, this is what I'm telling you, like TikTok has me doing some dumb shit. I think this is okay. It makes my brow look thicker and then I can fill it in. I just feel old. I feel like a grandma on TikTok. Like the other day I saw this TikTok about this girl. She was like, I don't fucking know how old she was, but she was like, oh my gosh, never forget the stuff I used to post on Snapchat in sixth grade. And she like put throwback clips of like the things she put on Snap when she was in like sixth grade. And I was like, bitch, sixth grade? I had Snapchat in college. Like, Snapchat became a thing in college for me. Sixth grade, I didn't even have, you know what I had in sixth grade? I had Webkins, I had Stardoll, I had Neopets. I didn't have Snapchat. That seems dangerous for kids, but then again, I was doing some weird shit in chat rooms when I was a kid. I look back and I'm scared for my future children um, on what they'll be doing on the internet when they're in grade seven, grade eight, grade 10. Do you guys hear that rain? Wow. What a fucking vibe, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. So, what was I saying? Oh my God, I remember, okay. Yeah, like I think about my future daughter and what she's gonna be doing that I, I know nothing about. When I was a teenager, I was so stupid. I used to talk to people on like, remember those doll websites that you could play dress up dolls on. So like back in the day, like it was like, you were really cool if you made your own doll website. So you would like do the HTML and do all that. And like some of these people put like guest rooms in their doll websites. I think they're called guest rooms or guest books or something like that, where pretty much you can chat. And I would be chatting to older men and I would be like, I'm 17 years old. Meanwhile, I was 11 and um, I would lie by my age and I would be like, I'm a cheerleader, I this, I that. 
and like he'd be like send pics and I'd like look up blonde girl on Google and like send pictures of some random blonde bitch and I'd be talking to older men. When I say older men, I mean like teenagers, but looking back, I realized that they probably weren't teenagers. They were probably old men and it scares me. I was so stupid. I'd add them on MSN. I'd do stuff like that, like just to keep in contact with them because I felt like they knew me better than anybody else. I remember going on Habo Hotel and Boba-ing, baba -ing, in their rooms. <laughs> if you played that game, you know. If you didn't, you're probably like, Baba, Boba, bubble tea, what? No, it, there'd be some stuff going down on those websites for a nice freaking superstar membership or whatever the thing was called, VIP, where you get like Habo gift cards and stuff. <laughs> I did some dumb stuff, like I did some dumb stuff. I look back and I'm just like, for what? Like, what did I get out of it? No one ever got me the memberships. Like they told me they would, they would go ghost and disappear after Baba. And I was just left feeling used and hurt, you know? And it wasn't okay. It was taken advantage of. I don't have a hotel. I do my makeup really fast. I might be editing some stuff out, but like so far this footage is six minutes and 59 seconds and I'm pretty much done my face. I just feel like makeup doesn't need to take that long. You could do it well and it won't even take that long. Cause I know I do my makeup real nice, you know? All right now, I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm really trying to grow my channel because I love this channel and I have so much fun with it and to be able to monetize and literally use this channel as my source of income for everything that I do, is a dream come true. Right now, I my job, my main job is my other channel. But if I'm being honest, like, I like this one a lot better. It's just nice to not talk about astrology all day, you know? I look cute. Do you want to see how fast I do my eyeliner? Let's see if I can do it with a compact mirror. The only makeup I wore in high school was eyeliner and mascara, so I perfected my wing. Anyways, I don't really remember what I was saying again, but something I wanted to talk about was like, this is super random. <laughs> so speaking of dumb shit I did when I was young, today I was going through my WhatsApp, all my old conversations. <laughs> Do you see that freaking lace? Oh my God, please ignore that. All my old conversations, and I came across this conversation with this man that I used to know. And this, <laughs> is embarrassing for me to say. I hope my parents never see this because I will be mortified at how stupid I was and they're gonna be just like, how did you not know better than this? And I don't know. So when I was younger, I wasn't too young. I was definitely legal, like I was over 18, um, but this didn't last long, so. I was still dumb. I was still in college, I think, or ending high school. I was broke, of course, as we all are in college. I was very broke throughout most of my college years. And I loved to go out. I loved to go to the club. I loved to go to parties. I loved to just go out. And I had a friend. And this friend introduced me to someone named Manny. Manny, I don't know his real name, probably Mavinder or Mancrete, something. I don't know, I don't remember. It was a very Indian name. I don't remember what his name was, but his short form name was Manny. And Manny is a guy that she met when he was driving her through Uber. So Manny says to her, hey, you know, like, if you want, if you want to pay cash, I'll make more money and you'll save more money if I just give you the rides off the app and then you give me cash or you can send me e-transfer. So she's like, sure, of course, because we're all broke bitches in freaking college, you know? So. She says sure, and she gets his contact number, and she adds him on WhatsApp and stuff, and they stay in contact. So when my friend and I started going out a lot, she's like, Ashley, like, we started spending a lot of money, and she remembered good old Manny. I don't know why I can't do my eyebrows right now. Like, oh my God, my eyebrows are not even sisters. They're not twins. They're not cousins. They're distant fucking relatives. No, they're just friends. My eyebrows are not. Give me a second off camera. But anyway, so she's like, Ashley, I know this guy that like offered me Uber rides for cheap 
off the app so that we don't have to pay all the fees and all that stuff and i was like no way really she's like yeah but the only thing is like he's like 45 and i was like oh okay well i mean do you know him she's like yeah we we're like okay so then we started hitting up good old manny every time we went out every single time like we would just call up manny but he'd always like cause problems like he was so fucking weird he started to get hurt because he felt like we were using him and i was like using you you're getting paid we're not friends what are you talking about using you but i didn't care because i was saving money i was broke instead of paying 50 dollars to get downtown or back home through surge pricing i was paying 20 bucks split divided by my friend and I. It was worth it. But then he started getting weird. He started like catching feelings a lot. So in order to maintain this transactional relationship, my friend started going to dinners with him. I said, girl, let's just block him. I'm not going to dinner with this man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I refuse. Like I'm not gonna be seen at Moxie's with him. I'm not gonna give him the wrong idea. Like he's very, I'm very clear with him what I get out of him and that's it so she's like Ashley but come on like we don't want to give this up like let's just let's just go and I was like I'm not going I'm not going so she went oh I forgot lashes she was like girl I'm doing this for us I'll take one for the team blah 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 blah. I was like but you don't need to do all that like we could just find a way to make more money and afford our ubers or like I don't know just figure it out like I'll be like I'll pack lunch and blah 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 and she was like, no, girl, we're not missing out on this. We could save so much money. I was like, okay. So she started going out for drinks with him. She was a ride or die. I will say we're not friends anymore for like other reasons. But one thing I'll give her, she was a good ass friend. So she went <laughs> to a few dinners with him. I remember one time like I was supposed to go while well, she told him I was supposed to go. But then she's like, Ashley's feeling sick. So can I take some food for her to go? And he got it. He was getting his dinner. It was weird. And I was uncomfy with it because... I'm just not like that typically. Like I don't really, I don't like use men. I don't go on, you know, I'm not, I'm not like that. So I was just like, eh, this is the last time I want this. Um, but the Alfredo was good though. Anyways, the guy drove like a maniac. Every time I was in the car with him, I literally thought I was gonna die. I was like, this is the last time I'm getting in the car with him. And then I kept trying to buy Ubers and realizing how expensive it was. Anyways, I finally decided to cut it off. I mean, I really should have a long time ago because like it wasn't smart. It was just stupid But I finally decided to cut her off one day because he offered to give me a ride on my birthday for free and He said that he'll give me the ride for free as long as I sit in the front seat because there's not enough space in the back He has a lot of stuff in the back. So he's like your friend can sit in the back and like you sit in the front So I was like, okay, so I sat in the front and I get in the car and I was like Manny like there's nothing in the back seat. He's like, oh, I moved it last minute, but just come, come. So I was like, okay. So I look at my friend, I'm like, it's a different girl. And um, he said happy birthday to me in the car. And he touched my leg. And I was just like, I literally took his hand, his arm, and I just moved it off my leg. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? I wanted to like cause a fight, but when you're in a situation like that, like you're scared. Like you don't want to upset anybody. We're in the middle of the highway. Like I wasn't trying to cause a fight. So I literally let him drop me off. It was quiet the whole ride. And then I slammed the door and I blocked him. Good thing is I never gave him my address. Like he didn't know where I lived because um, I, knew, I knew not to give him my address, but the man was weird. And then when I worked with my friend, he ended up telling me that he had a sister who got rides from him too and she knew him too and that she said he was like a weird creepy guy too. And I was like, why wouldn't I know better? Like when you're young and broke, you just do shit like that because you just want to save money but really, it's never worth it. Like $30, $40 is never worth it. If you can't afford your Uber ride, don't go out. Guys, I was so broke. Like. dark time anyways i was stupid that's that moving on so guys i'm moving i'm getting a roommate which is so weird because this whole time i've been living alone i've only ever lived with my immediate family or alone so it's gonna be a really big change for me but i am moving in with my cousin and we're staying in the same building 
So I'm literally just moving upstairs, which is cool because I don't have to, you know, go through too many changes. I'm gonna have more space. I'm gonna have a full bedroom and I'm gonna have a bathtub. Right now I only have a shower, so it's gonna be really cool to have a full ass bedroom and bathtub. I'm honestly so excited for that. Like it's gonna be really different. For some reason, this wig is so hard to straighten. It's like I straighten it and it doesn't want to lay like out. See, like it just pops back up. Why does it pop up like that? Can someone tell me why? I have no experience with wigs, by the way. Like I've done a lot of like wig videos on my channel, my other channel. And every time they ask me to do them, I'm like, so you know, like I'm not good with wigs, but they just want a black girl. Like if I'm being real, they literally just want a black girl. Cause it's all the companies in China, if I'm being honest, that reach out to me. And um, all, almost all hair companies are in China, by the way. Like the ones that you see on YouTube. So they literally just want a black girl to be like the face of it so that other black girls trust them, you know? Which is kind of fucked, but I mean, it pays the bills. You would do it too for a check. Do you guys know that TikTok? The one of CeCe Jones, I think that's her name. Who the fuck is CeCe Jones, by the way? <laughs> I don't even know who she is. I just know she was like a Disney star that like never had her, her come up or something. I don't know, people just say shit like that about her. I don't really know anything. This video really was a transformation, huh? You guys saw me looking like I came straight out of fucking jail to looking like this. How does that even happen, you know? There's something so satisfying about straightening hair fearlessly because it's not your hair. So you're like, yep, I can let the straightener sit on this one section for 27 seconds. Yep, I can put the heat all the way up. Like, yes, the wig is expensive. I wouldn't know because I didn't pay for it. But at the end of the day, it's not my hair, you know? So I don't really gotta worry. I think I have to pin this down because this thing is not, like, do you see how it just bumps up? I don't have a curling iron. If I did, I would use that. Anyways, guys, let me change my top. Okay, so this is the final look. The hair is super long. What? What? Oh, let me give you my good side. Oh my god, bitch. Who, who is that? How did I go from looking like I just came out of jail to this in 15 minutes? I still gotta fix the wig because it's just not cooperating. But after I do, it's over for you bitches. <laughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go and just fix my hair a little bit and start my day of filming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. What's going on up there? Oh, I would not wear this in person by the way, just so you know, in case you think I would. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fix my hair and start filming, but I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know what this video was. I guess I was just talking about nonsense. But shout out to Manny. You saved me lots of money, but you made me real uncomfortable. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Stay cute. Remember when I used to say that at the end of my videos? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, stay cute.